Welcome back trainers and I just want to bring you a quick video going over Quagsire and using acid spray. Is it something you actually want to use especially if you're going to a Tempest Cup tournament? So we're going to just go into these practice rounds up against our team leader just testing out how fast it gains energy and it's pretty much on par with Sludge Bomb. But the thing about acid spray is you're absolutely not using this move to do damage. It's solely for the defense drop on your opponent okay so with that you know decent amount of energy it does need to do basically no damage you're relying on lowering your opponent's defense and everything okay sure lower your opponent's defense but if they do switch will it go away nope we're going to take a look at that here in a moment and you can use this to your advantage now we're going to hop into some battles with my friend shirk here I didn't pick like a full-fledged team just threw something together i want to make sure quagsire was in there and we're just testing it out so we're going up against Raichu here. Typically, you would want to go for Earthquake, right? I have Stone Edge and Acid Spray currently to test out the movesets. So we're going to go ahead and go for Acid Spray. Seeing that I do have Mud Shot, which is going to be super effective to Raichu, I do have a bit of an advantage here. I will be able to hit it with super effective moves doing extra damage. Now, in comes the Mantane here. And what you could do in this specific situation is lower the defense. Since he did switch, he's locked in here. And if you did have a Pokemon with a quick electric move or a quick uh, rock move, anything that's going to be super effective to it, you could switch and just dig into it even more so than before since its defense has been dropped. In this situation here, I'm just going to town and testing it out. I could have switched, but like I said, I just wanted to see the energy gain and discuss it with you guys. So that's pretty much how you're going to use the Acid Spray. You're going to basically lower the defense if they do switch in and they're locked, that's going to be your best situation. You want to drop their defense, bring in something that's going to be hitting them super effective, possibly with a quick move, so you can just make quick work with them and save your charge for the next Pokemon. So this can be used pretty good to some degree, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's almost better if you have a charge move that's going to just be doing massive damage. So for instance, in this situation, having Earthquake would be great, although Stone Edge will be doing a lot of damage going up against that Alolan sand slash but you know it's all depending upon what your opponent is using and what you have behind your quag okay so basically lower the defense switch do super effective damage and chip away at them with your quick move and then you'll be able to hold your charge all right so this is not going to work in every situation and it's kind of risky going into a tournament and i'm just going to let you hear the snippet coming up right now so you're going to see here that the defense lowering stat that I did put on that Raichu did stay even though it did retreat. So there you go, you were able to hear the sound and it even showed defense lowered when it came back in and obviously I did not use that move again, so it does certainly stay. So take note of that, this can be used very well and also you can get yourself in a jam as far as using it as shield baiting i suppose but sludge bomb could do that because it literally charges just as quickly as that move does all right so when it comes down to it it's a pretty good move if you have your opponent switch and they were locked in you use it you bring in a pokemon that does super effective with the quick move and that's pretty much it otherwise i'm going to tell you straight up you don't want this thing okay not the quag the quag is great <laughs> the acid spray not so much all right so just uh, wanted to let you guys know that because i hadn't done any thorough tests and i wouldn't say this is a you know super great display on how acid spray works but pretty much a little bit of strategy for you to take note of and possibly when other people come to this tournament or your whatever location you can prepare yourself and know exactly what may happen if they lower your defense they may be thinking okay i'm about to switch to do super effective damage but you can be on the offense and ready to go with that knowledge so there you go trainers just wanted to show you this video really quick and i'm going to be going to my tournament later today i'm also going to be getting a new phone samsung galaxy s10 so fingers crossed let's see what we can go for i'm pretty excited for this because i've been sitting on the samsung galaxy s7 edge since 2016 all right this phone has served me very well but it's time to move on seeing that i do all my recordings on here and yeah now 
about that switch or possibly lowering the defense and then having something come in and do super effective, check out the Lantern going up against this Graveler. It will be weak to water. And since the defense has been draft, look how fast I'm able to tear into it. Just a little example there for you. So thank you for watching, trainers. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.